Hello everyone, this is Hazel Marie and welcome to my craft room. Today I am going to be working on a tutorial. Um, one that um, I saw and it was on uh, Paper Make Pretty. And um, the actual project was Ooh La La Vintage Treasures uh, Tilda Candy Station project share. And as I shared with some of you um, on my video that I posted yesterday, or actually Saturday, uh, was that I was going to start working on a um, shabby chic candy station. I have a bling station, but I decided I wanted to switch over. Uh, sometimes it's just good just, you know, have a little change every once in a while. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, on the particular project that I am uh, recreating or altering, because it's not going to be the same, um, is that um, she actually had a, a form and uh, it was made out of wood. Now, mine is not going to be made out of wood, but you could just as easily go to uh, the craft store and you could buy pieces of wood um, in different sizes or if you don't have that and don't have a husband who has a saw and cut it, and cut it for you you can also use a cardboard now these um, right here is where I got my idea from now these are empty ribbon rolls I've got a large one uh, a medium size and then on the very top Instead of adding another one, I'm actually going to use a crown. Now, the base of this is going to be this glass uh, jar. Now, you can use a votive, you can use a candle, um, you can use anything that has substance on the bottom, meaning that it won't tip over easily. Now, this is a candy dish, and I just went and poured my candy out. Uh, so I'll have to be buying another candy dish, I guess. But anyway, that's what this is. And um, so I'm going to show you some of the items you're going to be needing. You do not have to have um, a uh, crown. You can put, um, in the actual video that I watched, they used a peat pot. They painted it and um, kind of shabbied it up. And they put um, some little doll figures in it little uh, paper doll figures. You could put a bouquet of flowers. Uh, you could put um, some kind of a figurine. Um, you could put whatever you can imagine on the top. I just happened to love this um, crown and I decided, huh, I've never used it. So basically what is going to happen is I am going to take each of these pieces of paper and I'm going to take a thick heavy duty cardboard and I'm going to trace it out and I'm going to cut them and uh, also for the large one I'm going to remove those and I am also going to make the heavy duty cardboard that actually wasn't the heavy duty cardboard but here it is and uh, that's what I'm going to use. Now, <laughs> they don't look like too much right now, do they? But they will. They'll be very pretty here in just a little bit. So anyway, um, all of these uh, will stack together. And as such, and let's get this back because I don't think I showed you. <laughs> now, here's some array. What is wrong with you, girl? Nothing, she says. Nothing's wrong with me. <laughs> okay, now, can you see? I don't know. <laughs> All the way down. And this is what it's going to look like. And you think, oh my goodness, what has she lost her mind? It's beautiful when you finish, believe me. It's not going to look anything like this. So, in addition to... Uh, needing a heavy container, uh, something that 
will balance your items. You're going to need some lace. If you use a container, like a bowl or a container like this, and we're going to cover it, we're going to put rubber bands around it. We all know rubber bands do not last, but it's going to hold it in place while I pull the elastic or the uh, uh, lace up and I can trim it off. And then I'm going to tie very snugly a piece of ribbon around to keep it in place because we know that these rubber bands will deteriorate over time. So you're going to need some paper scissors and you're going to need cloth scissors and you'll need a pencil and then of course you will need heavy duty cardboard. Now, like I said, you can go to the store and you can purchase um, a wooden uh, pieces if you would prefer. Now, the paper that I'm going to be covering these with um, are these three. It's a pink polka dot. A green, kind of like a, um, um, not a jacquard really, but uh, similar to that. And then one that's handwritten. And these papers actually came from uh, the Lemon Craft, uh, from Lemon Craft, and it's called House of Roses Basic Paper Pad. And that's what I'm using. And you're also going to need a hot glue gun. Um, as we progress along, we will actually need more items, and I will tell you uh, what you'll need as we progress along. And this may take probably two, hopefully not more than two, uh, tutorials because it is a lot of fun. So here we go. I am going to actually uh, take my paper. I'm going to take all of these off. We do not need these. I'm going to discard them, and I'm actually going to take my thick paper. Oh, let's see here. Got this one and this one. Oops, this one and this one. Sorry. Okay. Now, and these two. The one I'm going to put on the bottom, and this is entirely up to you. Whatever color, uh, uh piece of um, paper you want is great. Mm, just whatever you want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put them on the back. I'm going to trace around them and then I'm going to cut them out and then I'm going to attach them to the wood here or to the wood. See I should have gotten my wood to my cardboard. Now I'm going to stop my camera so that you don't have to, have to watch me do all of that. And uh, when I come back, I'll have them all together and I'll have them ready to. Hello everyone, this is Hazel Marie and I'm back. Uh, let's see, when I left you, what I was going to do was uh, cut out paper. I was going to glue it to the top of my uh, circles. And uh, I had uh, a large circle and a large circle. This is sitting down on the large circle, and then I had a medium size. I also covered uh, around uh, the middle, and uh, I did not do anything to the sides because we're going to put lace on them. So, uh, this has kind of been a little booger bear, uh, <laughs> but not a bad booger bear, um, just that... Um, when you're trying to find what you're going to put on it, the different kinds of laces, um, those kinds of things, it makes it a little difficult. Now, as you can see, my desk is a horrible mess. Um, this is what it usually looks like. Um, what I'm going to do is right now, since I've got everything glued together, I'm going to put my, um, my bottom which is um, this container. It's actually um, a candy, uh, or I call it a candy dish. Uh, you might call it something else, uh, but that's what I usually keep my um, hard candies in. And I'm going to put a rubber band around the top. And then what I want to do 
is I want to work around it, getting the lace, whoops, getting the lace to where it looks nice all the way around, like it's gathered up, um, and it's not bunched up in any areas. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's the reason we have a rubber band around. That way we can do what we need to do. And hmm, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, piece of ribbon and I just saw it a second ago. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay. Um, this little job that I said, or I, or I thought it was a, not really a little job, but uh, uh, you know, it's not going to take quite as long. But I think what took the most time was deciding what papers I was going to put around uh, my uh, cardboard, uh, what I was going to put on the layers, and then I was um, working with some um, wedding applique that I had and I was trying to do something similar to what Violet did over on uh, Paper Made Easy but it didn't work out so good. Now, now that I've got this all here I am going to cut it back but I'm going to get my cloth scissors because I don't think those are going to work as well. Those are my paper scissors. And don't cut it too short, because if you do, you know what will happen. It will come out from under your rubber band and the piece of ribbon, and you will we'll have a non-gathered mess. <laughs> so we don't want to do that. So I'm just kind of cutting it up at the top, along the top, and, uh, whoa, not this piece. Um, those are just kind of scraps. I'm not going to worry with keeping those. I usually don't throw much away, but you know, sometimes you can just keep too much. Sometimes I have a hard time just finding a place to, to keep it all. Okay, there it is. Okay, now, on my particular jar, I have a lid, and I've gone ahead and I have um, adhered it uh, around here. Now, I am going to uh, put some glue around the top because I really don't want to pick this up and forget there's a lid on there and they come apart. But I don't think that would be too good. So, I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to, if I can, <laughs> If I can get this on here, come on, come on, come on. Ah, there we go. Okay, now make sure it's sitting nice and level, and it is. And um, I'm just going to kind of press down on it a little bit so that the glue will set. Now, um, when I was cutting my um, uh, paper to go on uh, the particular um, pieces. The piece, the 12 inch, did not quite meet around this one. So what I did was I had to uh, put a little patch in the back. You just have to put a little extra piece of paper. Uh, so I did that. Now what I'm going to do is starting at the back, I have decided to use this particular light. Whoops, get it up here. This particular piece of lace and I'm going to start in the back making sure I have the uh, right side out because there is a wrong side and right side as we all know. Um, as a matter of fact, I shouldn't tell on myself, should I? Uh, <laughs> uh, excuse me. But, um, I put my paper on wrong on one of my notes. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't a good thing, was it? I had to take it off. I had to make a patch. When I say make a patch, you just have to make it work. So I'm going to start at the back. 
with my glue and I'm going to um, have it around the wrong way. We don't want that. So I'm going to start putting it on and then I will just um, go around. As you can see, I don't think this is going to take as long as I had thought since I did uh, <laughs> I didn't run around and everything on top or uh, when I was videoing. I went and gathered more than what I needed because um, when you're doing something like this you're just not really sure and also uh, if you make one of these um, if you happen to look at Violet um, on uh, Paper Made Pretty uh, she has a wider um, area and uh, what she did was she uh, stored some of her items uh, there on her candy station uh, so that she could uh, oh, get stuff off. Well, I didn't do that. Um, I could have, but I figure, hey, if I'm going to make this thing, I'm going to leave everything on it. So that's what I did. So just kind of decide how wide you want your um, circle to be. Um, it really won't make much difference as far as the uh, oh the size of the, the middle uh, because it's, it's already pretty large but if you don't have that uh, you can make uh, your own. Um, huh, well it's not going in. Uh, you can make your own well, if the glue would quit crawling back out, uh, using uh, oh some cardboard, uh, you could make it out of um, uh, anything um, that's round, uh, that's large. You could do it at, uh, with your um, heavy duty. Um, board like we did here. The, when I say board, I, I don't mean wood board. Um, but you could make it just about out of anything. But I think um, the ribbon spools look real good. And uh, like I said, I saved my, my spools. But um, you may not do that. So uh, you may have to be a little creative with how you come up. And I'm going to just do a little dab down here where I put these together so they don't get open because they can't believe they turned out perfect. <laughs> just one spot. Um, if you're like me, you don't always do that perfectly. That's okay. None of us are perfect. Okay, front side of my uh, ribbon. Now this one I need to show you is an eyelet trim and it's pink. It's a it's a pale pink and it has um, a little bit different design I guess I don't know if you can see that but it's a little different uh, quite pretty I think um, I guess ivory eyelet is not always my favorite because um, I like all the lacy cutie things but you know what? When I mix it with the lace, I really do like it. Okay, this one's a little shorter, and I'm going to go all the way around. I'm going to actually put on uh, three layers of lace, and I really would like to have had a little bit longer pink, but this is what I have, and this is what I shall use because it is for me and I think I can handle it being a little shorter piece of lace. Um, if you were making it for someone else you might be a little pickier. Um, but we can't get too fanatical. Speaking of fanatical, 
I have a glue gun that I have had for years and years and years and years. And this is what it looks like. It's very ugly. I tell you what, this thing, it has lasted me, oh, for years in crafting. So I decided, okay, I want a new glue gun. So I went online and I found one. It may have came from Amazon. I'm not sure. But uh, I thought, oh, it'll be a smaller nozzle. And so I got it. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. It, it worked great. Except for the last few times that I've tried using it. Um, it has both centimeters. Um, not centimeters. Um, uh, what am I trying to think of? Fahrenheit and... Um, Oh, I can't think of the other word. Um, you know, a lot of people, especially in Europe and other countries, they don't use uh, Fahrenheit. So anyway, um, I had um, my gun, and I was, you know, had it plugged up, and all of a sudden, it stops. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? This is that pale, 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 pale pink right here it's kind of an off white and the lace underneath here is a um, kind of a white it's an actual white and um, but anyway my glue gun it would get hot and then it would cool down and um, so anyway finally I messed with the knobs and everything and, and finally it, it did okay but then I was using it today. Oh my goodness. That thing like to drove me crazy. Good thing I am using my other new glue gun. That some of you actually recommended to me. Because I was looking for a glue gun. That did not dispense a lot of glue. And it was a lot more accurate. And it's the Sure Bonder. Oops. There we go. It's, it's a mini gun. The only thing I don't like about it is you have to use these tiny glue sticks. And believe me, it eats up the glue stick. Now, look at this baby. <laughs> I like the long glue sticks. So I don't have to keep refilling them. But other than that, it works perfect. I have not had a problem with it. And for those of you who suggested I purchase that, thank you so much. And uh, it does work really well. And uh, so anyway, my my big glue gun, my white one, that went nutsy on me, even my husband looked at it. And um, anyway, he, um, he doesn't know what's wrong with it either. I mean, it's like, ooh. And he can usually, you know, fix just about anything like that. And uh, so anyway, I ended up taking that thing, unplugging it, and I wrapped up the cord, and I put it down in my jump over here to fall away. And I guess I'm going to give it one last try. If it doesn't work this time, it's going in the garbage. I mean, let's face it. We can only mess around with something so long. And when we need glue, we need it. And uh, I was doing some things that actually needed a lot of glue. That's okay. This one came through. And I got my, my old one out. It's all fired up. And it's ready to go. And it's hot. And, uh, of course, I know they don't have feelings. But you wonder, okay, now you got me out of the drawer. Now you're... Your fancy old glue gun's not working, so you just got me out. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. And I was faithful to you for years. So, <laughs> thank you, glue gun. <laughs> uh, being a little silly. That's okay. That's what this is all about sometimes. Um, this is one of my patches. 
um, <laughs> glued the wrong side of the paper. Uh, nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with me. And so then I had to, to kind of fix it. Okay, now what I'm going to do, and uh, I cut a bunch of these pieces. The problem is, is that I just kind of mixed them all together, so that wasn't too good. That was a bad thing to do. Um, I'm trying to see here if, I'm trying to get the two pieces that actually go all the way around. I looked and looked and looked for this. Could not find it anywhere. Finally found it. Let me get back to the back. I always like to start at the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these, um, uh, let me put it around up here so you can see a little bit better. Um, I guess I should have said, this is what I did. I have a long piece of lace, a shorter piece, and it's the pink. Whoops, went the wrong way. Sorry about that. And then the cream and pink again. Now, this is a beautiful braid, and it has pearls in it. And what I am going to do is I am going to wrap this all the way around the top and the bottom. I like things finished. I am a, I guess, a stickler for that. I'm going to start in the back, come around. Um, just checking to make sure I was on the right side. I am. Thank the Lord. Um, anyway, I am going to put these pearls and lace all the way around. And that will cover up where the spools are glued to the paper or to the top of the uh, the uh, round piece that we covered. Okay, that makes that look a lot nicer. We're finished. Um, oh, those are kind of hard to get through sometimes. And I'm going to do uh, two, two pieces. I'm going to do one at the top, and I'm going to do one at the bottom. I know. Some people say, well, yeah, I probably don't need it at the top. Well, I do. <laughs> if I'm sitting over here in my chair, and I look over at my candy station, and uh, my, my new candy station that I am, this is my first uh, project to go over there. I do not want to see, look up there and see where I put it together. So, I am putting it together back here, all the way around. Now, this one did happen to be just a little tad short, and um, that is my fault. I should have measured that. And I didn't, so I'm cutting a little piece, and uh, I'm going to attach it right there, and then I am going to uh, glue it to the other where it stops. So we have that. I have one little pearl that's hanging down. You don't need to be hanging down, so get back up there. Lots of glue strands. Woohoo! Lots of glue. Okay. So I went all the way around. As you can see, top and bottom. Okay, now on the next um, one, on the next level, I, it, whoop, is I, is I missed, missed that. Okay, these are pieces that I have used uh, for something else. And, um, well, part of them I have used for something else. And um, I'm using the same braid. 
and um, that's why there's so many little pieces. Uh, that's why I say I don't usually throw away things, especially something this large and uh, this pretty. So I did not want to get rid of that. So I kept them. And look, they're just working out perfect. And you can always splice them together, add them, whatever. I'll uh, need to watch what I'm doing here. Uh, so that these all come together and make it all the way around. Now let's see. I have got, looks like I don't have another one that goes completely around, but not a problem. Not a problem. We will, you know how these kind of um, come apart. Sometimes you can just fix it with your glue gun. Um, or at least I think that's what Michelle would do on just add glue. Um, she's a riot. Uh, that girl doesn't do anything without glue. Because it's just, just that glue. She loves to use hot glue. So do I. I didn't realize how much I used until I started watching her show. And I thought, wow. I do. Whoops. I think I got caught on something. I have my paper cutter down there. Uh, you would not want to see the floor. <laughs> Of course, yours may look as bad as mine. I love to keep my craft room neat and organized. And it usually is when I'm not working in here. <laughs> oh, when I'm working in here. Oh, Lordy. I make a mess. Okay. Just one little piece together. And then that will be all of this. And we will have the braid, as you can see, on both the top and the bottom. Okay. Yay. Good. You get so much glue on you, you can hardly do anything. Or at least that's how I am. Okay. We have got braid, 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 and braid. Now, as you notice, we don't have lace. <laughs> Um, what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to turn this around, uh, let's see here, this is my back, um, this right here is a beautiful piece of uh, wedding applique, and uh, I had bought, as I told you before, I bought a, a wedding dress, and uh, I took it apart. And, uh, oh, excuse me, my nose is just bothering me so bad, sorry. Uh, I am going to put, oops, let's see here, it's going to go down like so. And um, I want to make sure that this is going to come out just right. Um, I am going to put this piece that goes down. Oops, here's my glue gun. It's reaching for old Blackie over there. He's probably saying, yeah, you miss me now. You miss me when you, you can't use your other glue gun. Okay. Now I am going to, oops, <laughs> I'm going to glue this around. The flowers are going to be at the top. And this one, actually, I have no idea how in the world it got cut. Uh, that really doesn't matter because I'm going to just have it glued right back. And then I'm going to Keep on gluing. Oh. And it will be down here. The flowers at the top. Now, make sure that you get the little pieces 
and uh, the bottoms glued so they don't start rearing up on you. Now, as you can see, I have just a little bit of space right there, but that is not a problem because I, whoops, that glue's hot. Um, I have flour that would fall just right where that would need to be. And so I'm going to show it to you here. Just give me a second. Let me, um, I've got so much glue in my hands. Oh, look at this. Just, I'm telling you, I'm a glue magnet. So, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, just laugh along with me. It's okay. Uh, I love the days I love to laugh. I like to laugh anyway. Some days I don't feel like it. That's okay. I do today. Woohoo. So that's good. Uh, okay. Now I have a flower. Remember, I started and I'm right now where the flower should be in the back. So I'm going to fill this in. He's supposed to be at the top, not at the bottom. Okay. Now, look at that. I don't know how well you can see it, but it goes all the way around. 